What's up, cheerers? Welcome to Games Time. I'm James, and no, I've got gotcha. you. This is not a fresh movie review. I thought you'd think it would be, but um, it should be. But no, today is a bit different. It's a stand recommendation, and I'm glad I actually found it. As uh, this is now one of my personal favorite movies, um, personal favorite things to watch, uh, which. If I find it on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, I will um, take it to a friend's place to show them or whatever. Um, it, I found it on a Facebook uh, video thing where they show like clips of certain... Um, go, ahead. Um, go away. I get it. Of uh, certain movies or scenes from shows or whatever. And, it show, and this Facebook thing showed... Uh, Juno Temple hurting herself and the people giving her money and I was like Okay, what's this and I looked in the comments and someone said it was the brass te teapot um, Reddit R for my American audience. I think Reddit MA for My Australian audience or M. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that goes for hour 41 minutes. It's a Comedy fantasy movie in a way um, almost on the verge of horror because it's um very Body horror in a way, but um, not that much. Um, directed by Rama Mosley, uh, and she's done. Sorry, what has she done? She has done. Um, she's mostly done video shorts like uh, Creed, Higher, Tonic. If you could only see in dreams, I run wild, Lost Child, and a TV episode of Blind Spot. So it's more, it's a newish director in a way. Um, written by Tim Macy. Um, what's he done? And he's roughly a new director to a little new writer. Done the short of the Dying Western, The Brass Teapot, Lost Child, and Nielsen. Okay, cool. Um, starring Juno Temple, Michael, and uh, Ang Arano. Alexis Bedell, uh, Bobby Monaghan, Steve Park, Ben Rappaport, uh, and Lucy Waters and Jack McBriar. <clears throat> the concept of this movie, when a couple discovers that a brass teapot makes the money whenever they hurt themselves, they must come to terms how far they are willing to go. Now, I personally love this. It, it's very um, Lord of the Rings, like... Um, Holy shit, it's got power, I want it, but it's turning me evil. Um, and I love Juno Temple in nearly everything she's in. She's a quirky actress, she, I love her. Um, she's d done well in Horns, um, from what I've seen her in. Uh, Horns, um, Ma Maleficent, uh, The Dark Knight Rises, um, and... Wild Child in Year One, um, and it's it's very. How far are you willing to go to hurt yourself? Um, the pacing is great. The story is even better as the pacing. Um, it goes through the like, oh, we are down on our luck. Shit, we're gonna lose um, our house and all that stuff. We're married. When we're not having luck in the job market and everything, we find the teapot, and it's like. Oh, you know, oh, I hurt myself. Oh, you know, just small things like, oh, ow, oh, I'm sore. Money's coming. But then the teapot wants more. It's like, it's not just taking, you know, slaps and all that stuff. It's taking, okay, how far are you willing to go to hurt yourself or your partner? Like, oh, they go to the point of telling truth to the point of like, oh, I slept with the landlord. Oh, you know. You have a small dick. And it's just like, wow. It's just like, and the teapot's like, oh, like giving them tons of cash. And just seeing them go from innocent quirky guys uh, to wanting to actually be thirsty for money, have the money and everything. It's just like, oh, you were going down a dark path you cannot come back from. Um, it, I love this. Like I said, I love this movie. The like, it's got backstory. It's got um, a pot potential to have um, more. Uh, what, what would you call it? Um, history to it, as they're like, oh, my grandmother had this in World War Two. She stole it off Hitler. 
It's like, wait, what? It's like, it has a past to it. It's an item of uh, rarity that's like, oh, it's been around around the world and you only know a brief little part of it. And it's like, I want to know more. Like, if they're willing to go deep down for a... Like, this is from 2012. So, if they're going willing to go deep down for, like, a sequel or, like, a series, like... I don't like it when they milk stuff for just saying the milk milking of things just to be like, oh, we have this property, we want to keep making more money off it. But no, I feel like they could do it for this. Um, uh, I love Rama Matt Mosley now. Like, I've never heard of her before, but the writing, it's just like, it's honest and true. And this is like an indie movie that gets you. Kind of like Juno, kind of like um, The Wrestler. Um, and the peanut butter falcon, like I talked earlier, it's something that grabs you early on, and it's the quirkiness, and it's like, how far would you go, and everything. Um, Michael Argan Arganaro, oh, fuck, I'm sorry if I butcher his name. I, he's from Sky High, almost famous, I'm dying up here. I don't mind him, he's a pretty good actor. And, um... <clears throat> And just seeing him come out of his show in this movie from, like, uh, a nobody with that strength to live to a dude with tons of money. It's like, oh, I should probably quit now. It's, it's interesting to see. Um, <clears throat> and the uh, evolution of the characters. So if you like quirky movies, you'll love this. Like I said, it's one of my personal favourites of all time now. And I'm willing to show it to friends and family just to be like, hey, if you want to feel good and a feeling movie, watch this. And my question for you guys... If you had uh, the brass teapot, how far are you willing to go to keep getting the money, to keep living the life of um, being in the moment of richness and uh, the 1% or whatever? Because there are rich people out there who are fucking dicks, who don't deserve the money, who have squandered all that they have. But how far would you go to keep gaining the money to be whatever? And would you... Keep on going till you are rich, or would you help others as well? That's the question I'm asking you guys. Um, uh, so, it's on Stan at the moment. This is a Stan recommendation. Um, the Brass Teapot. Um, and, yes. So, like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Yes, please leave a comment. Like, actually, how far would you go? Would you keep going to the point you have billions of, of dollars, but also help out those in need? Or would you be greedy? Be honest. I know you want to be honest, and I, I, I'm all honest too. I would keep going, I would kill the pedophiles, but I would also, also um, give to the homeless as well, and everything. But, uh, but I'm a greedy motherfucker when it comes to money myself. But, as I said, and Juno Temple, I love her. Oh. So yes, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and more are to come. The next one will probably be a fresh movie review, because it's going to be Sonic. And actually, I don't know, to be surprised, I actually quite like it. So thank you very much, and keep on watching.